goodness, I really didn't, that didn't occur to me. Um, now I have to rethink everything. Thanks a lot. I hate rethinking things. We had a, um, <clears throat> I was shooting a scene with, with Mark Pellegrino yesterday, and um, he's, he's fantastic. Um, we were, <laughs> we were doing a little improvisation, and uh, it was funny. He was funny. I, w I wasn't, but he was funny. It was good. Well, but will, you, will you do me a favor and stop looking at the door every five seconds like you want to get out of here? You'll forgive me if I'm a little on edge. The last time we were together, you killed me. Well, the last time we were together, you stabbed me. I'm sorry. You want to dwell on the past? I don't. Um, but there was a little line, there was a line where um, I'm sort of taunting him and I tell him that Jack doesn't even really look like him. And, and then I threw in a line like, yeah, in fact, he actually looks kind of a lot like me and and Amanda tapping is directing and she she came up and she was like hey Misha don't don't throw that line in there don't do that it's not good not good but he does look a lot like me um, because he's I mean Alex is my my biological son so no means oh well, it means uh, like wasted lit chonged blitz blasted blazed baked nothing no why not time travel was difficult even with the powers of heaven in my disposal but you're cut off so will you look at the glory without enough plutonium i don't understand that reference but i'm telling you Castiel. What? My mother, she said Castiel. He would keep me safe. That's why I chose him to be my father. Yeah, because we have that in uh, Tombstone. Uh, it was exciting. I, to speak on Misha's behalf, I think it was more thrilled than he's ever been because a lot of the brutality that usually gets you know, aimed Targeted towards Misha to, yeah. was now kind of split up between Alex and Misha, so he finally had somebody that he was trying to like, kind of pull pranks on as well. I believe He's it's like, misery, misery loves company. Yeah, I, I think, think that's the official. Uh, it's good. You know what? Before, not even be anything to do with their characters, when Alex first came on, I was like, he actually reminds me a lot of a young Misha. I'm not judging you. I'm jealous. What do you want? I'm on a chair, on the floor, on the planet Earth. You are so stoned, man. No, I'm not stoned. 
um, just his personality type. He he also he's playing a character, that, so he's taking it very seriously and working very hard, and he's making some decisions. And he's a very intelligent young man, very talented. And um, Misha 2.0. Yeah, Misha 2.0. Uh, so to see them together. And the irony is that we work with him so much more than Misha has. We were excited. We were like, oh, there's another character and he's going to give us some time off. And now Misha, you know, he's like, in the first five episodes, I think he's with Alex two days or something. Um, it's great. I like the way they play off each other. And I've always said, uh, obviously the show kind of hinges on the relationship between Sam and Dean. But I feel like the world is enriched by seeing the way they interact with other people and seeing the way Cass interacts with other people and with Jack as well. So. I mean, it's all starting to feel like a blur now. Um, pretty much from halfway through the first episode, uh, I think I laughed at like a fart joke or a dick joke, or a dick joke. so it's just kind of been uh, kind of downhill from there. You didn't want to switch up the duds? You just looked like a pedophile. <laughs> that is not nice! <laughs> that easy! You didn't want to switch up the duds? Put yourself a little bit more casual, you know? Crazy he's gonna be an idiot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because as soon as they saw how easy a target I was to laugh at pretty much anything, um, it's kind of just been game on for them ever since. Uh, Misha 2.0 I've been dubbed, so <laughs> whatever that means. Hi. Hi. Had you known back when you auditioned how much Jared and Jensen would prank you, torment you, fondle you, and do the flirty look to break you, would you still have signed up for the role or would you have saved yourself the trouble? <laughs> We were shooting a scene last night before our road trip started. And in my close-up, shock and surprise, Jared and Jensen were standing on either side of the camera. The camera was pointed at me. And right as I was approaching the camera with my dramatic walk-up, I was walking up, delivering a line, which, by the way, in the whole scene, I only had one of, walking up, delivering my line, and just as I started moving, they would pass a prop in front of the lens. even seen God. The whole thing remains mysterious. What are you doing to my foot? What? It's the tiny matter of... Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh man, did they put out new pages? New what? <laughs> I like it. Yeah, oh we skipped right past a whole bunch of shit, but I was going with it. And we had to do it so many times. And Dave, our dolly Dolly Grip, the guy that pushes the, the apparatus that the camera's on, said, don't they want to go home too? <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was the last shot of the night. And everybody, the entire crew, would be able to go home for the weekend if they would stop fucking around. <laughs> and yet they get such pleasure out of that. Uh, that they didn't care that they were holding up their own weekend. Um, and rather than when, when I finally, so I, they would pass a prop and then they'd start giggling. And in that moment when they were giggling and so, you know, uh, what is that? They were self-satisfied or whatever. Um, in that moment before they figured out what the next thing they were going to pass would be, I just tried to like very quickly walk up and say my line. Like in that window, I caught a window and I got it out. And the director, Phil, instead of yelling cut, he said, okay, we can finally go home. Jared Padalecki <coughs> is a monster. Did I skip? If we, we no, no, I don't know. It I was Jared. I, I skipped a line and then I went backwards. This is, we're to this is part of this. This is the rewrites. These are the new pages. <laughs> do, I'll do... Uh, I'm really um, confused now. I'll do the Go back thing. to being Kess and then before the fake Misha. <laughs> no, you can Okay, Misha? <laughs> um, they do wear us down. <laughs> um, yeah, there have been a few times Nina... Um, is uh, she's directed a, a few episodes with us and she's just lovely. Uh, she's kicked them both off set <laughs> and, uh, and had me just do my stuff without them. Um, and that's actually, of course, so much easier. <laughs> um, and recently, uh, or, or this fall, we were shooting a scene with Alex and some of the, the ribbing and fondling and etc that you mentioned um, has been 
mercifully transposed onto Alex. Okay, well, what, what about the ghoul? I can stay no, here. I'll handle that. Besides, you need to be with the kid in case he, you know, baits. Okay. And so I, I, I think perhaps I was taking a bit of perverse, <clears throat> perverse glee in that myself. Perhaps I was joining in as well. <laughs> and then Nina said, all right, that's it. I want you guys out of here. And I was like, finally. Alex and I are going to be able to do this scene like grown-ups. And she said, Misha, you too. <laughs> and it was like a knife in my heart. I had become the enemy. <laughs> so would you have taken it? You never said yes or no whether you'd still take the role. Well... <laughs> Some of the fondling has been nice. <laughs> so. Alex, it sucks. It sucks. I know. Okay, hold on. I got this. Misha made a friend. <laughs> you need to stick with a kid yeah. in case he, uh, you know. In case. I was wondering if you could tell us about any pranks that Jared and Jensen have pulled on you. Well, if you guys have been keeping up with the show, uh, I've been on a little bit of a break. Uh, people have been trying to find me, uh, which hasn't been going particularly well. Um, I've been saving this story, so... This, I actually, like, I... I maybe I have to give you a demo. So, uh, in the fall, uh, Jared and Jensen were nice enough to be like, hey man, would you like to come have dinner with us? And what would you guys have said? Sure! I heard a no back there. Someone was like, no dude, no dinner for me. <laughs> so they took me out to dinner, which was really nice, um, and it, it, the bill comes, and I go, I go like, oh, like here, here's my card, like I want to make sure I'm at least getting some of this, like, out of respect, it's nice. So then I turn to my left, and uh, I, I hesitate just for the, the quickest of moments. <laughs> Don't you think about it too long. You know what they say, he who hesitates disintegrates. And I turn back and Jared has sliced my credit card in half. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not an onset prank. This is them pranking my real life now. Uh, just if, here. Uh, Bear with me for a second. You can have the couch if you want. I don't sleep much. Oh, I... I don't sleep at all. It begins. <laughs> this is the actual half that I've been too lazy to get rid of. So, uh, yeah, that's the best I got for you. Thanks, Jared. Do you? <laughs> yep. All right, here we go. Lock it, lock it up. Hang on, hang on. No, 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 I'll, I'll handle it. You just, you stick with the kid in case he, you know. Okay. Hi, my name's Nicole. I'm um, Jared. <laughs> nice to meet you again. That's Jensen. Hi. I didn't know that. But, um, so we all know that you guys are big pranksters on the sets, and since Jack's a new character, what are some pranks that you have pulled on him? Not so much pranks specifically, but just really trying to break him, um, <laughs> a la Misha. Um, Someone's dead, Cass. You stick with the kid in case he... 
so not fair because they don't see what you're doing and they just think it's unprofessional. We're on camera. <laughs> so much so that when, when we finally all worked together, Misha was so relieved that there was somebody else to be our, our victim as opposed to just him. Um, yeah, I think, so we talked to Phil Sagrisha who does all the gag reels and apparently there's going to be a whole spliced together scene of Alexander's sort of initiation, his hazing. Um, and I think they finally, we've been begging for years for a super long gag reel because there are hours and hours of gags. So hopefully they, uh, 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 hopefully. I don't know if I'd call it hazing so much as Torture. a welcome package. Okay. That works too. Thank you. You should see some of the gag reel. I will. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Let's just say that uh, it's the first time that they've actually had to wrap Jared and myself for the day just in order to get another person's coverage. <laughs> and it was simply in an effort to get us off the set because the other person could not perform with us present. And hopefully Alex starts coming and visiting you guys here. Um, he's gonna have some good stories, because also this is, I think, his first series regular gig. He's been on a lot of the shows on CW, he's, been on, he's worked, but he was so mortified because all of his takes, we'd make him laugh. And he's like, they're gonna see this, I'm never gonna work again. Like this is, and we're like, don't worry. All of your bosses know that we're assholes. So, just don't <laughs> yeah, let's hear it for assholes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs>